Have you ever pondered upon the sands of time and wondered how they've shaped the world as we know it today? Time carries with it countless stories, each grain a testament to the myriad civilizations that have risen, thrived, and ultimately fallen. Each of these civilizations have left their indelible mark on the annals of history, their whispered echoes still resonating within the corners of our collective consciousness. The tale of Carthage is one such narrative. An ancient empire of immense power and influence, it was once a beacon of civilization in the Mediterranean world. Today, we know it as the city of Tunis, but its roots can be traced back to the Phoenician states in the eastern Mediterranean. These were a collection of independent city-states, each with their own thoughts, ideologies, and identities. However, there came a time where they decided that unity was strength. They resolved to consolidate, and in their collective might, they set out to carve a fresh path. This brave decision led them on voyages of discovery and settlement, journeys that were as daunting as they were daring. They ventured into hitherto uncharted territories, their hearts filled with courage and determination. It was a gamble of monumental proportions, a leap of faith into the great unknown. But their audacity paid off, and they found themselves at the very heart of the ancient world. Carthage, as they came to be known, began to expand their reach. They established a myriad of colonies and trading posts stretching from the coast of Africa to Spain and from Sicily to Sardinia. These settlements were not just symbols of their growing power but also vital lifelines for their burgeoning economy. They intrepid mariners, unafraid of the vast expanse of the sea and their trading network was enormously extensive, spanning the entire breadth of the Mediterranean. This network was the lifeblood of their empire a vast web of roots and connections that facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. The Carthaginians were not just explorers and settlers, they were also shrewd traders, their astute business acumen driving their economy and power even further. As they grew, so did their influence. It permeated every corner of the Mediterranean, their might and majesty resonating throughout the ancient world. The story of Carthage is not just a story of an empire, it is a testament to human ambition, determination, and resilience. It showcases how a collection of independent city-states could unite, expand, and influence an entire region, eventually becoming a formidable force to be reckoned with. The success of these ventures catapulted Carthage into a position of power and wealth, their influence echoing throughout the ancient world. However, as with all great empires, the zenith of Carthage's glory was met with a downfall. This glorious empire, which once held great sway across the Mediterranean, found itself entangled in a rivalry that would lead to its destruction. It was Carthage's mounting strength and influence that stirred the bubbling cauldron of rivalry, especially with the ever-ambitious Rome. Rome, with its strategic location and burgeoning power, viewed the success of Carthage with a wary eye. This tension seeded animosity and suspicion between the two entities, in a series of devastating wars. These weren't ordinary conflicts, but monumental struggles that would shape the course of history. The series of wars, known as the Punic Wars, was the turning point for Carthage. They marked the commencement of a tragic downward spiral, the beginning of the end for this once great civilization. With three Punic Wars in total, each conflict saw Carthage fighting tooth and nail, struggling to preserve its legacy. The first of these, the First Punic War, saw Carthage bear the brunt of Rome's might. It was a catastrophic defeat a blow to the pride of a civilization that had once been the beacon of naval power. Carthage, known for its formidable navy, was bested by Rome, and it was A that shook the empire to its core. However, the spirit of resilience that defined Carthage shone through even in defeat. Despite this setback, Carthage managed to recover and even thrive under the leadership of a brilliant general named Hannibal. The Second Punic War was his stage and his part with audacity and cunning. Hannibal, lauded for his daring strategy of crossing the Alps to launch a surprise attack on Rome, managed to pull Carthage back from the precipice of collapse. His audacious tactics and strategic brilliance brought a glimmer of hope to the beleaguered empire. Yet this resurgence was ephemeral. The Third and Final Punic War signaled the downfall. Rome, relentless and unforgiving, unleashed its full fury on the weakened city of Carthage. The city that was once a hub of culture and commerce was razed to the ground. The once bustling city, the center of trade and culture, was reduced to mere ashes. Its people were enslaved, 
and the enemy was so ruthless that they even sowed the land with salt to prevent future habitation. So the civilization that had once commanded the seas held sway over vast territories and held the reins of power was no more. Carthage, a civilization that had once commanded the seas and held the reins of power was no more. The story of Carthage is a tale of ambition, resilience, and ultimately, devastation. This historic narrative is steeped in the trials and tribulations of a city that once dominated the landscape of the ancient world, holding sway over vast territories and acting as a formidable adversary to the power of Rome. This is a chronicle that transcends centuries, unfurling a saga of human ambition that knew no bounds, of resilience that defied the mightiest of opponents, and a devastation that, in its wake, left an impact far beyond what its founders could have possibly envisioned. Carthage, the name that still echoes in the halls of history, is synonymous with the ever-changing dance of power influence that has shaped humanity's course. It began as a collection of humble city-states nestling on the North African coast. Fueled by ambition and fortuitous circumstances, these city-states united, giving rise to one of the most powerful entities of the ancient world. Their rise was nothing short of meteoric, a testament to the grit, determination, and strategic prowess of their leaders. Yet, power is transient, and Carthage was not immune to this universal truth. It faced adversaries, numerous conflicts, and eventually a cycle of rise and fall ensued that would drastically alter the course of its history. Each phase of this cycle added another layer to the rich tapestry of its narrative, each chapter a vibrant testament to the dynamic nature of human civilization. Despite its ultimate destruction, the memory of Carthage refused to fade into oblivion. It was an attempt to erase memory, yet the legacy of Carthage proved to be more enduring than the forces that sought to extinguish it. Its impact is evident in the cultural and historical fabric of the nations that rim the Mediterranean Sea, their identities subtly shaped by the indelible mark that Carthage left behind. The story of Carthage serves as a poignant reminder of the impermanence of empires and the enduring power of legacy. It is a tale etched in the sands of time, Sands that may shift and change, but the tales they hold remain as captivating as it is a fascinating glimpse into the past that continues to resonate in the present. A historical narrative that is as compelling as it is instructive. And so, the tale of Carthage endures, echoing through the ages, whispering to us the lessons of history.